So um, we had a terrific 2018 and we're happy to share our plans for 2019 and it is about what you're saying, driving that 360 degree experience in restaurant across our four concepts and driving growth that way. But also we are extending our brands beyond into delivery and off-premise occasions which are really growing rapidly and there's a big demand for our brands both in the restaurant but also when consumers want to enjoy them outside of the restaurant in their home and other off-premise occasions and we've seen a lot of growth in that area. So talk to me about uh, how you think about off-premise long term. Is it a sort of market share grab at the moment that you're willing to sacrifice margins uh, for and, and do you like to take over uh, the delivery yourself or, or use some of these other companies that are popping up uh, everywhere from the Uber Eats to the Postmates of this world? Sure. So we started this journey about four years ago, really looking at how the consumer behavior was changing. And it's really proving to be a very incremental opportunity. So we started direct delivery. I think we're the only casual dining chain that does delivery direct from our stores. And we started this in earnest and we will have about 700 stores rolled out by the end of this year. It's a very profitable transaction for us because it is an incremental occasion for us. And so we are taking an omnichannel approach. We will be available in third party, but we're really focusing on direct delivery and building that competency. It's been a very successful venture for us. Liz, it's interesting to hear you say that that's been very profitable. It's not what I would have expected in terms of a delivery business and, and the lack of opportunity to upsell. I guess more broadly, how would you assess the cost situation for your business right now in terms of commodity prices and what that's meant uh, for food? You've had minimum wage on the rise here in many parts of the U.S. Sure. So um, when you think about we're doing direct delivery, right? So we're not paying that third party fee. And interestingly, a lot of the delivery is done online and that does provide a great occasion for upsell. So we're real pleased with the flow through on that. So on the incremental side and the customer side and the top line side, it's very good. On the cost side, you know, we're seeing very manageable commodity environment. We guided to about 2% inflation in our commodity basket this year. And certainly we, like everybody else, is seeing a tighter labor market, and so those are going up. But what we're really seeing for us is that healthy traffic coupled with productivity and modest pricing offsetting those inflationary headwinds and allowing us to boast both top-line growth but also margin expansion. Liz, what about the uh, international experience uh, and opportunity? Are you going to push that uh, and, and expand further into any new countries? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, as you know, we have a thriving business in Brazil. We bought out our partner there about five years ago. And since that time, the top line in Brazil has grown 15 percent. The profits in Brazil uh, in constant currency basis, all of these, of course, uh, has grown 10 percent. And we see an opportunity to really drive significant continued growth down there. It's a huge market for us. We also see other opportunities to leverage our leadership in Latin America to penetrate other countries that have very similar consumer bases. At the same time, we have a very strong franchise business in Korea and we're going to use that to partner and continue to expand in a very healthy Hong Kong business. So we are definitely opening new stores overseas where it makes sense on a direct basis in Brazil and then partnering with other really strong franchise partners to grow the brand in other markets. There's a lot of demand for it. And Liz, your CEO, it looks like until April 1st. What do investors yeah. need to know about your successor? That he is absolutely the right leader at the right time to oversee the next era of great top line growth and great margin growth. Dave Dino has been my partner every step of the way over the last seven years on this journey. And he is a tremendous leader and he will be the right leader for this group going forward. I look forward to staying involved as executive chairman, but I couldn't be more proud of this leadership team. They are the best in the business.